Hi guys, Black Hawk here. Today we are going to talk about Vega again. For start, I will uh, play a short clip from one of my previous videos. It is mining right now at 53.15 MHz per GPU, so the same like before. Let's see what is power consumption now. It was 1180 before. Let's see what is now. It, it is 1126, 1127, so let's say 1125 or thereabout. So 53.15 per GPU at power consumption of 1125 watts. Okay, as you have seen in that video, um, we already uh, bring Vega to, to run very efficient at very good hash rate, 53.5 mega hash. But I will show you how you can decrease power cons consumption even further. So, for this you will need this power play tables file. I will put it in the description. Uh, by the way, also, in previous video, I was talking about power plate tables, but I forgot to apply them. So, let, let's apply them now. You need to go in your overdriven tool and select your GPU. Right click up here, PP table editor, and here you will get these four num numbers 0000. zero, zero, zero. Then you go to this file, edit you put here those four numbers 000, zero, zero save and double click and then press yes i already did it so i'm not going to do it again so this is for one gpu and for next gpu you select gpu number two and go through the same procedure but now those four numbers are different zero 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 two so you need to edit this document again, put this 2 in here, save it, and then double click and yes, apply. Um, for uh, card number 3, the same procedure for number 4, 5, 6, and as, ma as many cards as you have, the, the procedure is the same. After you have applied for all the cards, you need to restart computer. I'm not going to restart because, because I have already applied those power play tables so that is step number one this will decrease um, power consumption for just few watts per card step number two as probably you know uh, team red minor version 0 0.8.0 is out um, just a few days ago new version of team red minor so with this minor you can now uh, use um, configuration with letter B in front like you see here default configuration is A and something but then you can push for B configuration which is a little bit more efficient but they say it is not so stable I haven't tested it enough so I can't say about how stable it is but I can say it is more efficient for sure to push this B configuration you need to go into your command line so here is my um, timings overclocks and this is your command line and at the end you need to to write here sorry um, if config equals b so this means the program will auto config but it will only choose from b configurations yeah so wh what i have noticed with b configuration is that you can decrease core frequency but keep the hash rate so i am at the same 53.5 mega hash but i have decreased core frequency give me a moment i have decreased core frequency from uh, 1080 down to 1010 in, in program it says 1007 um, and because I have, I have decreased core frequency, 
I also decreased um, voltage. It was 831 before and now it is 8, uh, 818, 818. So because of this, um, I was able to keep the hash rate but reduce power consumption. Okay, so let me switch now, now to my um, mobile phone so I can show you power consumption at the wall. Okay guys, I just switched to my mobile phone. So you can, you can see we are mining at 53.5 mega hash. Let's see now what the consumption is at the wall. By the way, this is our rig mining right, right now. So let's see power consumption at the wall. Okay, we are at oh sorry 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 we at 1073, 1066, 1080. So roughly we can say even though it's jumping around, we can say around 1070, 1075 or thereabout. So we shaved off almost 50 watts or yeah something like like 50 watts for the whole rig this means almost 10 watts per gpu this is huge this is not little so um, this doesn't mean only that we will pay less electricity but this also means that gpus um, produce less heat which uh, with vega is huge problem because hbm2 memory likes to overheat so um, now in the winter it's not so much a problem, but during summer um, it is quite um, a challenge to keep HBM2 uh, temperature under control. So this helps a lot. Okay guys, I, I also want to sell this rig, this 6x Vega 64 flash to 56. Um, I, I was thinking to, to set price at 4000 300 euros um, and before you freak out I'm not mad but um, this these machines goes for a big money right now so um, I'm a little bit embarrassed but I want to use the situation to sell my rigs um, but you also need to know that I'm not just selling 6x um, Vega 64, I'm also selling my knowledge and configuration. These Vegas are run, running at 53.5 mega hash at um, around 175 watts at the wall. So this configuration is really, really efficient. So whoever is buying this machine, he's going to buy uh, a really efficient machine with very good configuration. So uh, people at the moment, they really want to buy uh, mining rigs. So if they are not going to buy my rig, they are going to buy any other rig. And I can tell you, I've been, I've been searching online for uh, used rigs and most of them don't have good configuration. Most of them are not um, efficient, but uh, people are still buying them and mining with them. So. I don't think my price is too much, but we'll see. If, if anybody wants to pay that much, I'm okay with it. If not, then also I'm okay if Rick stays with me. Okay, so this is it for today, guys. Um, I wish you happy mining and see you in my next video. Cheers!